A parking nightmare is one step closer to a solution. People who live in Point Loma and Pacific Beach say RVs are taking up what little parking they have and then staying overnight. 10 News reporter Marianne Martinez has the crackdown that could soon spread to other beach communities. For years, beach communities like Point Loma and Pacific Beach have had unwanted visitors who some say overstay their welcome. RVs like this one have become a nuisance to Point Loma homeowners. During the day, they park near shopping centers like this one, but at night, they move up into the neighborhoods of Point Loma. Residents suspect the RVs are occupied by the homeless. They put their welcome mat out there on the street and have low barbecues sometimes. We saw many RVs parked in the area. 10 News tried talking to the people inside. But when we knocked on their doors, no one answered. Even more problematic, residents say they take a precious few parking spaces. They're just really big, and if they decide to park in front of your house for three days, that's, you know, two parking spaces off on your street. RV dwellers are able to get around current parking rules by moving as little as a few feet every 72 hours, and nothing can be done to force them to leave the neighborhoods. In 2009, some Pacific Beach residents, including Scott Chipman, banded together asking for help from the city. Now the city is taking action, meaning to consider a pilot program that could be the solution. We're very excited that we might be able to move this forward. If adopted by city council, the pilot program would make overnight parking for RVs and trailers illegal in those areas without a permit. This ordinance will give the police department the tools that they need, the tools that they already have in other cities. City Councilman Kevin Faulkner says the plan can be expanded to other parts of the city of San Diego if it's successful. In the next few weeks, City Council is expected to vote on the matter. In Point Loma, Marianne Martinez, 10 News.